ladies and gentlemen, you know, I was reading some articles and they're really pouring out now at how fast the ice is melting on earth. They said it is so accelerated that it is actually startling the scientists. And this is the reason why you are seeing flood water stick around a lot longer than you did before in the past. I mean, we can look at the Midwest, for example, They've been flooded since January. We're already more than halfway through June and they're still flooded. And the water is not receding all that fast anymore. Well, that's not only happening here, but it's happening in other parts of the world that is experiencing floods too. So things are definitely changing, which means the sea levels all around this globe are a lot higher now. And I was also reading how fast the ice was melting in Greenland. It said it's melting so fast, it's very noticeable at the accelerated rate that it's melting there. So there's definitely a lot of changes going on on this planet right now. So in the last few decades, the speed of polar ice lost on both ends, they're talking about North and South Pole, has begun to gallop away at rates which will have a marked effect on the global sea levels. And that's what we are seeing now. We are seeing it already. Antarctica is now losing ice mass six times faster than it did 40 years ago in the decade that began in 1979. The Great White Continent surrendered 40 billion tons of ice a year to raise global sea levels. Now, listen to this. This is like unbelievable right here. By the decade 2009 to 2017, this mass loss had soared to 252 billion tons a year. Can you just picture that in your mind? 252 billion tons of ice is melting on this planet every single year. That is just unbelievable. And in Greenland, the greatest concentration of terrestrial ice in the Northern Hemisphere has also accelerated its rate of ice loss fourfold in this century. They said if you went to Greenland 40 years ago and you go there today, you would see a dramatic difference because of all of the ice loss there. Satellite studies confirm that in 2003, Around 102 billion tons of ice turned to flowing water or broke off into the ocean as floating bergs. By 2013, this figure had climbed to 393 billion tons a year. That's melting ice. I mean, these figures are just unbelievable. Scientists report in the proceedings of the National Academy of Science that they studied high resolution aerial photographs, satellite radar readings and historic Landsat's imagery to survey 18 South Polar regions encompassing 176 basins and surrounding islands of Antarctica to take the most precise measurement of ice loss so far. Most of the loss is attributed to the contact with ever warming ocean water as they leap the ice shelves or eat away at grounding glaciers. And you know what, that's why if you notice these hurricanes are growing stronger and stronger every single year. And it is because of the warm water 
that we have out there in the oceans. Since 1979, it has contributed 14 millimeters to global sea level rise. Researchers stress that their readings of the profit and loss accounts of polar ice is the longest study so far. That's just the tip of the iceberg, so to speak. Yeah, I would say it is. And you know what? When winter time was here, I kept hearing about the Arctic ice sheets over and over, you know? And and I have always heard the story of the rising sea levels. Believe it or not, I was hearing about the rising sea levels back when I was in grade school. I was hearing about it back then. So it's been a long time off and on throughout my life hearing about this. But now it it is so noticeable. They are speaking about it a lot more now. As the Arctic ice sheets continue to melt away, we expect multi-liter sea level rise from Antarctica in the coming centuries. If all the ice on the continent were to melt, it would rise global sea levels by 57 meters. Wow, growing concern. For more than a decade, scientists have been concerned with the rate of the warming. So yeah, we, we can see things are definitely changing on Earth. At least I notice it. Things are definitely changing. You see, um, I mean, just like this past winter, if you compared it to the year before, it's no comparison. It was very different this year for the winter. Um, the acceleration of glacial flow and the loss of shelf ice, West Antarctica. The latest study indicates that East Antarctica, home to a far greater volume of ice, is also losing mass. Accelerating glacier movement across Greenland towards the sea has also concerned climate scientists worried about ice melt for years. The island's bedrock bears a barren of ice significant to raise global sea levels by seven meters. Researchers who have used data from the GRACE satellite, an acronym stands for Gravity Recovery and Climate Experiment, since 2002, also report in the same journal that the largest sustained loss of ice on Greenland came from the island southwest. They think that within two decades, the region could become a major contributor to global sea level rise. But why the loss has accelerated is uncertain. I tell you what. This is the most high reclaiming back his planet. You can best believe he is. All of the things that are happening, ladies and gentlemen, they cannot control it. They can't control none of this stuff. Just like they can't control that flooding going on in the Midwest that's just wiping out the farmers. I seen an article yesterday that said in Illinois, the farmers said they are not even planting anything this season. That is like unheard of for us to be in the warm season and farmers are like, look, I am not planting anything this season because of all the flooding and the constant heavy rain and the ground becoming waterlogged and it is counterproductive to put your seeds in the ground. And they know it. They know this. I mean, this is just, wow, what a time to be alive, y'all. Once again, warming atmosphere and ocean are linked to ice loss in the Arctic region. A change driven by global warming as a consequence of ever higher ratios of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. 
fed by ever high rates of combustion and fossil fuels. Well, greed is going to be the reason for them to not make any changes at all. Melting rates have been uneven. The unexplained acceleration between 2003 and 2013 was followed by an equally puzzling pause. Natural atmospheric cycles such as the North Atlantic Oscillation must be part of the explanation. The oscillations have been uh, happening forever. So why only now are they causing this massive melt? It's because the atmosphere is at its base warmer. The transient warm driven by the North Atlantic Oscillation was riding on the top of more sustained global warming Professor Beavis said, we are going to see faster and faster sea level rise for the foreseeable future. Once you hit the tipping point, the only question is how severe does it get? So what's worrying scientists is they don't know what's ahead. They know all this melting is happening and it's accelerated but they don't know what it's going to do globally. So this does not look good. And there's nothing they can do to stop it, y'all. Nothing. But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.